So we are in uh, December 20th, and I'm still messing around with Clackamas County, who has their head stuck about 10 yards up their ass on this bullshit. So 90 days elapsed, and I filed my claim for the loss of the damages to my uh, brand new Camry car from the September 8th incident where Jenna McClure, who was drunk and uninsured, smashed into the car, and then um, she fled the scene. With, which is failure to perform duties of driver after accident and state police and other agencies were all very clear in agreement on this and prior to giving me insurance, prior to anything, a uh, cop took an hour to get up there. He arrived and I stayed at the scene and I went into the bar on the other side of Charlie's Mountain View. The cop arrived, I came out, we were there, explained the thing. Shortly after Jenna came up, uh, drove up she drove off and you can't do that it's failure to perform duties of driver after accident and the reasons you can't do it are exactly the reasons we've run into now this is a law uh, oregon law oregon state law but a law that's you know with some degree of variations universal throughout the country of the united states of america and the reasons are very clear it's just like what we ran into with this fact that she came back with a fake insurance card and not just fake information but uncomplete information. She didn't have an address on it. Now, the officer who arrived just before she did, it was suspicious to me there. They both knew each other. It's been suggested to me with all the other stuff with McClure, uh, you know, exposing yourself on the bridge, mooning all the cars passing, the sexual acts at Charlie's Mountain. That this girl actually met the police officer and performed uh, a sex act on him right prior to this. And then she brushed her teeth afterwards. She might have performed a blowjob on this guy. They could knew each other in return for leniency. And I was like, you know, it sort of resonated. I sort of chuckled about it. But it's, it's sick. But with these guys, it's not too much out of reach. It is very possible. Now, regardless, though, uh, you know, my big issue that night was that he didn't want to do the breathalyzer, but regardless, and this is the issue, you know, her giving me that information, them saying, well, the car is insured, the car is not insured to her. It's not insured to Thomas Douglas, who was the owner. You know, they faked the car sale or whatever. Uh, he had owned that car for a year prior, and she had been using it, and he is a relative of her. And, you know, here's the deal. But, uh, so he didn't have insurance on it. She didn't have insurance on it since June. And the insurance is going back to this other person who was two prior owners, the person who owned it before, uh, Thomas Douglas, Ashley Dornhecker, or something like that, just because of the mistakes in the DMV system in the state of Oregon. So the police are, you know, basically complicit with this crime that McClure committed. Now, specifically, my claim against the sheriff's department is because she failed to perform the duties of the driver after the accident. I went in and I sat for an hour with these two basic reject retarded kids. You know, I hope I'm not being too hard, but that's the hard truth. Uh, Lieutenant Chris Kate and this other joke, both of them looked like they weren't even wearing clean clothes. They were a mess. Uh, very disrespectful in terms of their uh, way of dealing with me and their appearance. And they also committed perjury because they told me that the one hour conversation I had with them would be submitted to the district attorney's office. And then the district attorney's office would choose whether or not to prosecute McClure. We specifically spoke about the issue, not just the issue with the drunk driving, not just the issue with the police errors on that, and the issue with her being uninsured and me trying to figure out if there is insurance somehow on this vehicle and for me to put a claim on that. The specific issue we talked about was the crime, the misdemeanor crime of failure to perform duty to drive after accident with the property damage. How that relates is because without giving me an address and without giving me you know, the correct information, I have been in the dark and powerless for over 100 days now, December 20th, right, uh, and unable to file a suit against her because I don't, you know, a, a claim against her because I don't have an address because she gave me a, a card for this outdated State Farm thing and it did not have an address on her and, and, and on it. And I assumed, you know, being a good person I am, that she was not doing something fraudulent and criminal that night and that she had gone and went and got her actual uh, insurance card and it was, it, she was insured. But this is the whole point. She wasn't insured. She can't leave the scene to go get a fake card, and that's a crime. And for the very reason what we've run into is I've wasted 100 days on this, and it's unacceptable. Now, this law, if they are choosing at Clackamas just not to enforce a law while she came back, well, if she had come back and given me completely correct and up-to-date information, right, then, sure, that argument would hold up. But no, she came back and gave fake 
outdated and incomplete information that number one misled me and the officer that night thinking that she had insurance number two made it impossible for me to file a small a, a claim against her and take her to court because i didn't have an address for it i was told that she left and went to california by people at charlie's mountain View. i have also been threatened hundreds of times by people at associated both by jenna mcclure and charlie's mountain view through writing etc everything else 